What's up guys, today we are going to be checking out my PSA card collection. Let's go. So guys, this is my PSA case. Very nice looking. I did make a video on this case a while ago when I first bought it. Uh, you can check that video out if you want to as well. Keeps all my graded cards in here all safe and sound. So guys, you can see some dust there. Obviously, I haven't been collecting in a while. <laughs> I've been focusing on some openings and obviously some investments, booster art sets, I mean, you know, uh, collecting some sealed product. So if you, if you haven't seen this case before, that's what it looks like. Very cool protective gear on top. And here's this um, side where I keep all my PSA cards. So I was gonna fill this whole thing up with PSA graded cards and just hold on to them. And today you're gonna have a look at all of them. Uh, let's go into the other room where you can... It's a bit prettier than this layout. Let's go. So guys, quite a big stack that we're going to look at today. Not the biggest stack in the world, but this is everything I have. Uh, this is under a year's worth of PSA graded cards that I've bought. And obviously I have been mixing things up, buying other things, building puzzles, building a Gyarados and Pop Vinyl Mewtwo and all that. So, uh... Yeah, <laughs> hence the slow pace of PSA, but nonetheless, I'm going to show you every card that I have. And um, I know some of these aren't Pokemon, but some are really cool, like Michael Jordan. The Last Dance, obviously, is really uh, kicking off right now, really popular. Uh, I'm going to say most of these cards are going to be Pokemon, so uh, yeah, definitely stick around for that. Maybe the top three or four cards aren't going to be Pokemon. So that's Michael Jordan. Uh, and I just want to say also another a big thank you to everyone. I hit 300 subscribers and obviously I have two giveaways going at the moment. So if you haven't entered either of them, I will leave links to them in the description below. Uh, the first one would be the uh, Rebel Clash Booster Box giveaway. Uh, that's going to continue to run until we hit 1,000 subscribers. So there ain't too rush like there's. There's not really a rush to get into that, but as long as you enter now before you forget, um, so you can have a chance at winning that. This is a really cool Batman PSA graded card. Um, what else? The other one is an Eevee and Friends Pokemon card giveaway, which ends on the 28th of this month, May 2020. Uh, so I don't know if when you're watching this video, if it's um, now or later in life. <laughs> You might have missed out or, you know, you still have time because uh, today is the 24th, I think. Yeah, still have another four days or so to enter. Um, the video will be up there somewhere in the eye or in the description below. So here's a Himonchan Holo PSA 10. These aren't in any specific order. This is just random cards that I got. This is a Holo. This is from Platinum, not base set, guys. But it looks very similar. Obviously, it has a different symbol down below. Um, pretty cool. So the rest of these cards will be Pokemon. And I have showcased all of these on the channel at some stage in their life. So, yeah. Some of these I just bought on auction. Some of them were dirt cheap, so I just picked them up. It wasn't a, like, you know, oh, I really like this Alolan Raichu. Let's buy it. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. You know, like, it was really cheap. Considering it costs more than that to send to get graded, you know, um, here's a Japanese I don't normally collect Japanese, but like I said, it was probably came with a booster pack. It was cheap This is gem mint 10. It's also a first edition. So it wasn't such a bad deal I don't have the prices on me on hand. I could chuck them on the screen, but you know what I am planning to do um, end of financial year kind of uh, Investment video where I talk about you know, each of these cards, how much I paid for it and how much uh, they sell for. Uh, what's the value for this card now? Surely it's, um, you know, this is a PSA 10 from Sky Ridge. So it is uh, a decently, well, I haven't really looked up values recently or anything, but I know I didn't pay too much for it. So there you go. I might, I'll be usually holding on to these for, the original plan was for 20 years and just continue to hold it and see where it goes from there. This is Dark Sloking, very nice looking card. As I said, just really showing you what I have. Nothing 
two major. I'm going to hide the card that was on top there because I do want to show that off later. Here is a Haunted Tops card. PSA 8. And I, I hear that these cards are hard to grade, so an 8 is a decent score for that. And obviously the back is really cool looking, you know, with the description there. If you want to read, you can. And pause the video. There you go. So, pretty cool. Haunter is a cool Pokemon to, to have. Um, but like I said, these cards here, I just bought because they I thought they were cool. It's PSA 8 and they were cheap as well. So they weren't... I wasn't entirely searching for it. There is a um, an auction I used to join up to. Uh, and see here, yeah, that was pretty cool. You know, who's that Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? Yeah, that's Haunter, obviously. I think that's... Uh, Fairly obvious. You can match them. <laughs> uh, there's Hitman Chan if you want to read that too. And I'm pretty sure there is quite a bit of these cards floating around on auction as well for dirt cheap. Uh, from memory, this might have been like $10, $15. Like that's that's a bargain. PSA 8. This is the year 2000, yeah? So that's like over 20 years ago. Not a bad deal, yeah? So I'll hold on to that. I'm sure. You know, when you buy it cheap, the cheaper they are, the you know the the better the chance they're going to grow in value. Uh, ideally, this is a PSA nine Vile Plume, Dark Vile Plume from the Rocket Set First Edition. Um, I started buying a few First Edition um, Rocket Hollows, uh, a few of them, because this was cheap. This was like under fifty bucks, but I think in today's prices, uh, like what they are now, they could be a, a lot more than that. I haven't. I honestly could tell you that I haven't really looked, because um, that was the plan. I, I don't want to keep. I like to monitor sometimes, maybe the big guns, um, but yeah, I I kind of got it hidden away. You saw the case, yeah, it was all dusty and stuff. So I obviously haven't really looked at these cards in a little while. Here is a first edition ride on PSA 10 from Jungle. There's something about the fighting, the original fighting Pokemon that I, I, I like. Um, obviously, my favorite Pokemon is Primeape. Uh, I'd like to get a Primeape PSA card. I guess that would be something I would do in the future. But honestly speaking, I haven't really invested much into PSA lately. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to put this aside. I'm, build, I'm going to build some momentum for those cards that I just put aside, if you can see me putting them aside. Here's a Wobafet. Wobbuffet, PSA 9, EX Sandstorm, also I think I got this in a decent deal, you know, just maybe 5 cards for 50 bucks or something like that. Um, that's from the top of my head, maybe I'll put, post a picture up somewhere, maybe, maybe not, I'm, I don't want to promise something that I'm not gonna, you know, you know, I like to keep my promises. Here is a PSA 10, Detective Pikachu Charizard GX. Also, believe I bought this for cheap, maybe like 50 bucks or so. Um, so yeah, uh, it's Charizard. I know it's Japanese, and you can probably easily get this. This is from Detective Pikachu, so. But uh, nonetheless, it's it, it's cool. Yeah, it's a, it's Charizard. 50 bucks is cheap. Okay, next card we got a Ancient Mew. All right, so I have seen this floating around a lot, and you know. People think it's a, an expensive card to have. It It's not so expensive, but it is like a fan favorite. Look at the back, that's really cool. You know, all the energies there. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the card. It's PSA 9, this was also under like 50 bucks, so like really cheap. And these are all uh, Australian prices, guys, so it's, it's not UK or American USD. So uh, 50 bucks here is like 25 over there. 25 pounds or you know 25 USD something like that so fairly cheap as well then we also got a Mewtwo promo black star PSA 9 um, yeah I don't know I'm, I'm thinking of calibrating what I've done with PSA I've kind of just bought any cheap cards that I saw like any special deals I haven't graded myself either uh, I have plenty of opportunity to grade some cards that I think deserve a grade such as this guy the Charizard that I pulled in the other video and of course I'm flexing right here right now but that is um, definitely a card I want to get graded if I could um, but I just have him hanging around somewhere in the in the hood here's a Hitmonchan from Rocket oh it's Japanese yeah from the Rocket set 
Japanese uh, sorry, Japanese gym rockets. Him on Chan Hollow. Okay, that was quite confusing because that is a Team Rocket Grunt, I guess, and it's from the Gym series. So really cool looking. There's the old school, old back Japanese um, artwork there. So not a bad. That's a Hollow PSA nine, not first edition or anything, but it is a rare and it's a Hollow. So cool. Not bad, not bad. I am leaving some big boys at the end, so guys, stick around for that. And if you like PSA cards, like this video. Like it. Expedition Weezing. This is a rare, just a regular rare. Kind of like ghosty in the background, not too bad. Um, yeah. There's Weezing. PSA 9. And we got a, a, a starter. We got a Trico PSA 9 from EX Ruby and Sapphire. These are all really random. <laughs> I had no real chase goal when I bought these cards. This is a Charizard team up pre-release. This is not too bad to get, but uh, I, I believe one of my friends, James Graves, he's a subscriber and also content creator now. Um, he was telling me about his Charizards, how many he sent, and he sent so many of these and a lot of them just got the 9. So I guess it's, it could be hard to grade a 10, but yeah, not a bad artwork there. It's team up pre-release. Um, so I'd say that's more limited. It's, it's a promo. So I think that was, that was goodbye to um, Alteria, Dragon Majesty, PSA 9, Holographic. Cool. Holographic rare, obviously. Then we got a Supreme Victor's Hollow Charizard Level X. This was quite random. Uh, it was a Near Mint 7. Alright, so the, the price was really good when I bought it. And uh, just surprised, like, you know, I've seen people open up this box now. And this set has risen in value, like in regards to sealed product. So it'll be interesting to see how much this Charizard's worth now. And, um, you know, I, I did plan on making a separate video on my top PSA cards or like the cards that have increased in value the most. If you like that idea, let me know in the comments section and I will definitely make a video on that. And, you know, I do know specific cards that I'm saving to the end um, that they have definitely risen in value since buying them. This is all cards that I bought in under a year's time because I started this channel in July, August last year. It was kind of more of a, you know, one video a week, just do it for fun, YOLO kind of thing. And now I'm taking it a bit more seriously. I actually want to build this community, build a channel that's uh, worth watching, make it interesting, you know. Here is a Quasar Mega Battle. Look at that, the, the label, it looks quite old. You can kind of tell, even though this is 2015, right? Um, yeah, that's Japanese. And it's got a weird text there in Japanese too. Can't really read it, to be honest, even though I did study Japanese uh, for like seven years. <laughs> uh, when I studied Japanese, a lot of it was more writing than reading. Um, however, you can, I can read some of it, but that's not embarrass myself, right? So <laughs> we all know that's a mega Blaziken, so. Cool, Japanese, another Japanese PSA 10 Holo Giovanni's Gyarados. This was also quite a good deal. This was like $30 or something like that. $30 from an auction, holographic rare. So um, yeah, I am focusing a lot more on my sealed stuff, but looking at these cards and watching other people showcase their uh, PSA collection, it's making me want to buy, or like, add to my PSA collection. I mean, I could just grade cards myself instead of buying other people's uh, PSA graded cards, but nonetheless, here it is, Entei. It's a movie promo, kind of like a holo, right? The reverse holo in today's terms. It came back a nine, but you know what? I, I The way I look at it, it looks really clean, like the centering, like the yellow borders look really nice in that. Must have been something in the holo. But yeah, I, I ain't no Pokemon expert when it comes to grading, but there it is. Manectric EX holographic from Phantom Forces, Near Mint 7. Also, not a fan favorite for me or not the best artwork, but I bought it because it was like $7. <laughs> Quite a deal. Like, you know, when you see these kind of like really cheap deals, I just jump on it, I just buy it anyway. It is a 7. Nonetheless, um, I do like getting 10s and 9s, 
But um, yeah, if it's dirt cheap, that that card you know can sell for that just raw. So um, Zapdos, the cheaper you can get them, the resale is so much easier. Because let's say I get this Zapdos for like ten bucks. Not that I did, but let's say if I did ten dollars, uh, even if I didn't like the card or if it was a low grade, hundred percent you can I could sell that card for like double that twenty dollars. I'm not really the classical flipper, but um, you know that's just how that's just how it is when you buy something like this. This is Next Destiny's Hollow Full Art Curum, and some people like Curum. It's an EX, um, got a low grade there, seven. But as I was saying before, I paid like seven dollars or ten dollars for this card. That's nothing. That's like cheap. That's when you, the person pa probably paid more to get this card graded to ship it to PSA because obviously I'm in Australia so you know um, it's just a good deal $10 when you see one $10 that's nothing like instead of buying KFC $10 meal just buy this <laughs> and you know that's a worthy investment even if it doesn't it might grow in value I, I don't even know but it could be like $15 in value $20 not expecting it to skyrocket or anything this is a PSA 10 EX Unseen Forces Houndour. Okay, so some old sets here. Some sets that are a little um, vintage-y, vintage kind of. Uh, we got a Rapidash Reverse Foil from Pokemon Expedition base set, I believe. Gem Mint 10 Reverse Holo are always usually, like the reverse ones are harder to grade than the, the other ones, I, I think. Um, there's a lot more pattern to it, but this one came back at 10, so not too bad. And I think I got it for like 70 bucks. Um, these are all prices from my head. The big boys that I'm about to show, well, not about to, but we'll go show this card first. But the big boys I'm about to show will be um, some cards that I kind of know a bit more about, like how much I paid for and how much they've risen in value. So definitely something to look forward to. All right, so let's go into this. We have a Dark Slowbro First Edition PSA 10. Now, this card I bought for like a hundred bucks, maybe that a hundred thirty dollars max. I could say that, including postage and all that. Nowadays, if you're looking at this card, it's like in the three hundreds or two hundred, like in three hundreds. I'd say comfortably, um, I could resell. It. But I ain't gonna sell this guy. <laughs> but really cool looking card. Um, one of my first actually when I bought it. And at the time of like, you know, buying it, it's like, ooh, a spending $130 on a card, one card, was a bit weird for me. Or a bit like, ooh, a bit scary. But I'm starting to get used to this, uh, these kind of transactions, looking at them more as a investment, more than a, you know, like a, something you know, that you're just buying to waste your money on it. <laughs> so there is Dark Slowbro. That's already tripled in value in under a year. Um, this one, Dark Dragonite First Edition, PSA 9. Really cool holo. Um, this was, I think, my first PSA card that I got. Uh, bought it for like $110. And I was, like I said before, a little bit scared about spending that much on one card, guys. But this was awesome to buy. Um, this is a PSA 9, so it's, it's not a 10, but nonetheless, like, this card is not worth $110 now, it's worth a lot more. Hopefully I'll put the price on the screen for you guys, so you can see, and all these first edition holo cards are going up in value. Uh, I ain't planning on selling these anytime soon, but that is really cool. So I do have quite a few first edition rockets, and I wasn't trying to complete the set, it was just on the market, so... Next up, we have a Dark Blastoise First Edition PSA 9, so just short of the 10. And really beautiful card here. This card I bought for $130, including postage, just last year. And last I checked, it was like $300 plus, so it could be more than that. But this is like one of the best Blastoise arts, if you ask me. Like that position he's doing, it's like an attack mode, looks really cool. Really happy with this card, really happy with the purchase. There are some cards in this PSA collection that I am probably willing to let go to fund other purchases. I know I said I probably wouldn't do that, but you gotta change your mind. Now, for the best investment that I've ever made in my entire life, 
with Pokemon by far, right? Are these three cards. And I made a, a video last year about it. it. It was called my top 10. Oh, no. It was called my best Pokemon investment that I ever made. Uh, and to this day, it is probably still my best investment. And also, most a scary one as well because... I was just not sure about this, so <laughs> about the price, I was just really scared. So let me just show you what uh, we got here. We got a PSA 10 Bulbasaur, right? Nothing too shabby. It is just unlimited, but it's PSA 10, right? The 99 Pokemon Bulbasaur. Then we have PSA 10 Ivasaur, and of course you guessed it, probably the most valuable card on my PSA cards is the Venusaur PSA 10. And these are all just unlimited, right? I paid $350 for the three of them last year. And that was really scary. I, I have never purchased anything for that much. Like something like this anyway, like for three cards. But let me tell you now, guys, this Venusaur alone right now can sell for about $800. <laughs> Insane, right? That's like more than double my money for, for these three cards. But that's just this card alone. These two cards here fetch at least 50 Australian dollars each. Could be more than that. So I'll put up the prices there for you guys to see. But man, this was the best investment I ever made. Um, not sure if I'll ever let this go till the you know till my 20 year end <laughs> of investment goal ends. Uh, I made a video about holding these things for 20 years and not selling, um, but we'll see what happens. Things change, I know that. Uh, but 20 years is a long time. This guy can only go up. These, these three, I'd probably sell as a package. Um, they aren't in sequential numbers or anything like that. But these are old backs as well. I believe uh, maybe these are new backs, um, but really cool. You know, it's an evolution line. People like that. Um, Bulbasaur, Ivasaur, and Venusaur, and it's a starting lineup, guys. Not the best starting lineup, but it's up there, right? There's only three: Squirtle, Watertool, and Blastoise are probably second best, and then obviously everyone wants the Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. That would be really cool. Um, that's probably something I might lean towards, you know, just getting basic cards, just getting Watsy cards. Not saying that all these other cards here are worthless or anything like that, but uh, I do really like these vintage cards that I have here, like the Blastoise, the Dragonite, and, you know, the Slowbro, these Watsy stuff. Things like this I don't really care too much about. I just got them because they were decent deals, so something like this I probably might think about letting go, or even like something like that. That's a Gem Mint 10. But some people like these um, expedition cards, like populist cards, which I do have, um, unseen forces. So stuff like that, I might be looking at letting go to find some more either PSA collection, like uh, cards to add to the collection, or just uh, more sealed product, more booster arts. You know, the the more expensive ones. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys liked that video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Enter the two giveaways I have currently if you don't want to miss out on those guys. But that is my PSA card collection so far. And I'm looking to fill up this whole um, suitcase and then just lock it away. So currently, um, let me pop them all in and you can have a look. So they are magically in back in place. So um, currently I have 39 PSA graded cards. And I think each spot can fit 30, uh, 20 cards, PSA graded cards, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120? <laughs> 20 times 6 is 120, so 120 PSA graded cards and then lock it away. Um, and if you look at it this way, yeah, each of those cards are worth at least $10 each. <laughs> Obviously not some of them, some of them are worth way more than $10. But you know, that would be a solid investment if they were all valued at $10 each in the future, and I've got... 20, I got 120 times $10, that's like uh, $1,200, not a bad deal, like, <laughs> I know it sounds funny like that, but, you know, some cards are worth $50 each, I don't think any of these cards are worth $10 each, you know, so, um, if I had a whole suitcase full of, like, $50 cards or $100 cards, for example, um, that would be quite an achievement right there, $100 times, uh, 
even 20, 100 times 20. Do the math, use my ditto. Ditto, go. <laughs> so if you yeah, go 120 times, let's say there are $100 cards, 100 equals $12,000. So, I mean, that would be something to look down the line. And, you know, that's considering, not even considering that some of these cards are going to be way more than $100 and will continue to increase over time. So, guys, that is my PSA graded card collection. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye-bye.